Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing the movies. That eerie music is kind of setting the tone, isn't it? We've started a new studio lot because the last one was kind of falling apart and we're gonna hire some new people. I've got some new stars lined up and I'm excited to see what we can make. <laughs> Look at this guy, he already thinks he's a star. You're a feckin' janitor now. Come on, we'll take the next one in line. I don't really need a woman right now. How would you feel about becoming a man? Now you're Jim Pickens! God, that was a fast procedure. You are me. That's me, even though it doesn't look anything like me. You just share my name and that's it. And you are Grognak. Okay, that's actually pretty accurate right away. <laughs> what? Dude, why is this music so eerie? It's creeping me out. It's kind of annoying too. Let's get them into some nice clothes now. Oh wait, you can do an auto makeover? Give me a makeover. Put me in something I would actually wear. Okay, the Nazi image is not in. Let's change him again. He was really unhappy once he became a Nazi. A oh, ninja isn't too bad, actually. Ninja costume's kind of in. You know what? My guy's going to be a method actor. And it's going to be a western we're going to be shooting. So there you go. <laughs> he gave me a little nod of approval, I think. Okay, now he's more depressed than ever. Maybe that's part of his method acting. Maybe his character's going to be depressed. He's not even seen the script yet. He just has a feeling. All right, Jim, what have you picked out? Out of all your options. That's it. You've decided I'm gonna go around shirtless. That's what took you so long to figure out. All right, you know what? Let's write a script. Right, it is a western and Red Dead is popular, so I'm gonna call it Red Dead Redemption. That's to get around the copyright because it's like a, an email, you know? It's like Redemption. And the main character is gonna be Jim Pickens and his name is gonna be Demption. So it's like Red Dead regarding Demption, you know? His name is Demption. Do you understand where I'm going with this? I know it's complicated, but just hang in there. God, he actually looks kind of slick in the cowboy getup. It kind of suits him. Jack Rage? Yeah, that can be his name. That name is sick. He's the sheriff. And we'll get Grognak as the love interest. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Alright, let's start this lengthy process of making a movie. 12 seconds later. Oh my god, what a script. Jesus Christ, I am talented. Alright, let's get to filming. I think I might have to make the stars a little bit happier because they seem really upset. You know what, this guy's in the movie as well. I think I should make him an actor. <laughs> Wait, why are you giving out? Oh wait, are you happy? I couldn't tell, you felt your knees there. It looked like out of desperation. Hey, could we like revamp the soundtrack here? This is a bit intense for the game I'm playing. Sound like we're about to go to war and not make a movie. Ah, oh, this is better. In and out. Oof. In and out. Oof. Remember that if you keep doing this simple breathing technique for the rest of your life, you'll reap the benefits. Oh, that's a pretty good life hack, actually. Remember, breathe. <laughs> All right, Kevin is way happier now. You go ahead and get a makeover, too. That janitor outfit isn't going to work anymore. Why are you all going for the shirtless look? What stylists work here? <laughs> okay, hear me out. I think you should just take your clothes off. <laughs> script writers? No, you guys are janitors now. I'm the only script writer we need. This script is just mwah, amazing. Oh my god, I need nine extra- Oh yeah, there's one scene. Yeah, I remember what that scene is. <laughs> You're gonna like that scene. You guys that want to be janitors, you don't get to be janitors. Only people who don't want to be janitors get to be janitors. Why are you unhappy? Your salary? Okay, I can probably do something about that. I mean, I do have a kajillion dollars. <laughs> oh wait, I think I starred my director in the movie. Uh, any untrained person? You there, sir! He's like, me? <laughs> yes, you! <laughs> How would you like to direct the next blockbuster of the summer? <laughs> This untrained feckin' janitor gets to be the director of this massive supposed hit. Alright, yeah, let's give you more than a thousand. Like, you can have eight and a half. Kevin gets more. Kevin doesn't get demonetized in this reality. <laughs> Why are you freaking out? You just got like a ten grand raise. Alright, he's just unhappy. Let's just give him a massive bonus. You happy now? Look, you almost earned as much as Kevin. There's a minute there you did, but we can't have that. Okay, this is where everyone is relatively happy. I think we need sets as well. Not a western without a saloon. Need a jail for those pesky criminals. Also this stage, which I used for no reason as I had like entire sets in the movie. And then I just decided, let's just green screen in this one. And the feckin' scenes I used it in, it would have been much better suited to actually using the actual set. Shoot it! I don't even know how many scenes are in this movie. How many? I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> They'll be fine. 
Let's see how good Jim Pickens is on the piano. He's in the skies here. He had to be one of our extras because, you know, we couldn't throw in one of the nine we've specifically hired to do this stuff. But look, he's talented. He's playing all of that on just the piano, like those guitars and everything in the background. That's all him. Uh, the scene's over, Jim. Do you want to... You wanna go? <laughs> I think he's contemplating all of his life choices here. We kinda need the set though, could you leave? I could fulfill my fantasy here and get Grognak and myself to talk. We could be best buddies. I could do worse. <laughs> a star from a rival studio has just joined our stage school line. Star? Where's the star? <laughs> oh, she has quite the talent. She just screams outside the building. I'm not crazy, I'm just acting crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can give you a job. What will I hire you as, though? You are now a reject. What, you're pissy because you didn't get the job? That's life, sister. Get used to it. I didn't even give this guy, like, any major role in the film, and he's the fifth most popular star in Hollywood. What is with this feckin' music? <laughs> it sounds like my studio is about to be struck by the plague or something. Can I change it up? Like, what is going on? I can't. Okay. I never know what to do when they're shooting the movie. I just kind of wander around the studio, seeing what's up. Oh, my star is drunk. And he's fallen to 10th place. God damn, why did I even hire him? I should have left him as a janitor. I was just kind of worried because I did put him in a few scenes and if he quit, I'm not sure what would have happened. This guy's tolerant, hard to please, and a moderate drinker. I say just hire him as an actor. Nuke his salary so everyone is happier with theirs. And since he's a drinking problem, I'll send him right to the bar where he can have some drinks. If I ruin his career now, then no one else will hire him, meaning he won't be a threat. Oh, I'm good at what I do. That's show business, kid. Get used to it. Psychological abuse is the currency of Hollywood, kid. <laughs> At least no one's severely drunk. There's only a few severely depressed. Oh, this guy's actually severely drunk, but that was on purpose, so that's fine. Let's bring you to the bar, buddy. How come you're happy with this look? Like I put you in a Nazi uniform and you're upset, but this hair is fine. Oh my god, look at Grognak following Jim to that music. <laughs> it's so scary. I really wish it would stop. It's not the most relaxing music. Like, you know, all these sorts of games like this and Sims are supposed to have really nice, charming music. I give Grognak the big trailer. Oh, that's fine. I'll give you this one. Oh my god, now they all want trailers all of a sudden. Oh, why did I say anything? I should have given them nothing. Oh my god, they're all so feckin' pissed. I'm just building a literal trailer park inside my studio now. You know, my studio is the fourth best in Hollywood. Oh god, I don't want any spoilers, no. You can't see what's going on over there. That was a major spoiler. Look at that, fourth. Not bad. Although you could argue it's just because of the amount of money I have. But I think I'd still win that argument because you can't voice your opinion here. Sure, you can write a comment, but I'll just block you. <laughs> That's how I win my arguments. And action. Ah oh, yes, the camera, very fitting for a Western. <laughs> I mean, we can build this massive feckin' set, but we can't afford, like, even a realistic kind of camera for the time period. Jesus Christ, that guy is pissed off. Dude, I think it's time to quit. It's not worth staying here just so you can call yourself an actor. All right, I'll go take care of them. Right after I see what's wrong with Jim. Oh, you're a bit stressed, are you? Do you want some drink? Is that what you want? Will I get you some drink? <laughs> That's the only way I know how to cope with these things. Just there, there, a pat on the shoulder, and then my other hand has a bottle of whiskey in it. You're just straight up rejected. I just don't even want you. You're not even worth me psychologically abusing. See, look how happy he is now. Just give him a little drinky poos, and they're all happy again. Oh, God, the director's stressed now. All right, finish this scene, and then we'll get you out of there for a bit on both have a drink lads there you go why are you upset now what's wrong getting drunk yeah what's wrong with that it's okay to have a bit of drink in moderation even if it's just to run away from your problems they don't call it drowning your sorrows for nothing as you can see we're using the latest mocap technology here <laughs> ignore that woman in the background she's just having a good time and ignore my star down the bottom there he's having a good time too i think i just have to imagine that he's on like a roller coaster <laughs> Man, this is gonna be the greatest western you've ever seen. If you thought Red Dead had interesting characters, you're about to be blown away. Mine is definitely more emotional and the story's more engaging, I'll tell you that much. I think the only thing I could possibly be missing is a character as good as Uncle, because Uncle is the best character ever in any game ever. I hope they bring out an Uncle DLC. Oh, he's gliding away. That's what drink does to you folks. Never drink. He's actually getting really drunk. This isn't good. <laughs> like, he won't perform his scenes. Don't worry, the director's also drunk, so at least they're on the same wavelength. That chemistry is important. I don't know if this music is better or worse than the horror music we had. <laughs> 
Dude, just feckin' quit already. Look at you. You're gonna have a brain aneurysm here. Look at him go. Just sliding along the grass. Can you at least act like a hard worker? That would help a lot. Like if they get rid of people like Johnny Depp because he's trouble to work with, do you think you really have a chance if you continue to act this way? Come on, we got two more sets to go. Chop chop, people. Let's make a money. Okay, how the hell is he doing that? What the hell is going on? How? What kind of magic trickery is this? Oh man, movies are nuts. <laughs> they always come up with new ways of making people fly. <gasps> it's done. Now we just gotta put it into post-production. One eternity later. All right, everyone is unhappy, but the movie is ready for release. <laughs> so let's see what we can get here. Give it a release budget of as much as possible. 200,000, that's fine. It's definitely gonna make it back, don't worry. Look, repair of sets, superb. How could it fail? Ignore the rest, saying poor. Production cost half a million, that's... Good. Grognak was particularly bad in this. Oh, that's gotta be a hit to your self-esteem. Jim Pickens fits this comedy. I didn't realize it was a comedy. It was supposed to be dramatic. Imagine you made a series western and people came out of it going, that was hilarious. Best comedy I've ever seen. All right, well, let's rack it up the cash. I guess we may as well watch it now. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and this is a movie that I'm in. Welcome to the movie everyone in the audience. Hello. I'm the main character so you should get really attached to me. Oh wait, I have sudden st stomach cramps. I'm, un I'm gonna die, that's a shocker. Wait, is that Jim Pickens, leader of the Pickens gang? You're going down, Jim. Why don't you just hand yourself over? While the West is wild, I will never hand myself over. <laughs> Well, geez, they're running away. God damn, I missed them again, those Pickens, pesky Pickens gang. Wow, I feel much safer out in this land, far away from those first scenes. Hey, Grognak, or what, Ma Wendy, I think is your name is in the movie. Good to see you again. I've traveled far and wide, but I've finally found you, Pickens gang. It's me, the sheriff from earlier. I think my voice sounded like this anyway. Oh wait, the wrong character, <laughs> shit. At last, proof of aliens. Better get a p <coughs> better get a picture. Now listen here, you alien sheriff. I'm gonna see if you measure up to the stories I've heard about you. Grognak, go. Yeah, he seems to measure up, boss. We should surrender. Please, take us alive. There's no need for violence. You can just arrest us, as you are the law. Wait, why do I have this random woman in here? What the hell is going on here? Okay, I think this scene was in by accident. You can just ignore this scene. I must have forgot to remove it. You'll never keep me here. I'll plant a bomb and get out. You ever get that feeling that you're just going to explode? <laughs> Real men use paintbrushes for every job while building a house. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. House building montage over. Love interest approaches. Ah, Grognak or whatever the fuck, I don't know. You're home. Oh, and you have a baby. I can't believe this. Now see here, see? It was all a trap. Showing you your baby was the signal for me to swoop in. That's right, Jim. I betrayed you for my immunity. No, this can't be happening. How could you betray me like this? This is dramatic. Another one bites the dust, see? Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board. Howdy, feckers. It's me, Demption the Second. But you can call me Demption Two. And I'm here regarding Demption One. R Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. Good evening, Mom. You look very similar as you did 20 years ago when I was just a baby. You're going to jail, kid. That is reasonable. How could you do this? Locking away your own son. I don't really even understand why you're doing this. You're just a bartender now. Why would you do this? Come on, kid. Hurry it up. We don't have time for a realistic plot. Get in there. And throw away the key, Sheriff. <laughs> He's no son of mine. Just one more thing, Sheriff. I think you'll find it is actually you that is in jail. Haha. -ha. Well, darn. Now I am the one who is behind bars. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> Unlucky, Mr. Sheriff. Now that I've dissolved my mother in acid, you're the only enemy I have left. And it's time for me to get my Red Dead Redemption 2. 
Good night, sweet prince. Oh wait, yeah, my mom is still alive. Uh, we're gonna sacrifice you, mother, so that dad can come back to life. So dig your own grave, or else I will shoot you. God, you're the best son I ever had. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Wait, I have other siblings? No! All right, mom, this is it. Good night, sweet prince. That's gonna be my catchphrase, by the way. Now, to get my dad back. Dad, why do you look like this? What happened? I was buried for 44 years. What did you expect to happen, you idiot? I guess so. I'm sorry, Dad. And I'm also sorry for copying your style. I didn't mean to. Something glitched with the costumes in this movie. We, we are, are, family. are family. Our family, Our family, family is, is back, back, together. back together. We, we are, are family. family. The, the sheriff, sheriff is behind, is behind us, us, us. And he's and dead. He's dead. Oh. All right, well, that was our movie. I hope you enjoyed. I found it feckin' emotional anyway. I had to wipe away a few tears. I just love that in the end, family really comes together and you just see family can make it through any plot hole, no matter how many or large they may be. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a good rating on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. And I guess I'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching. As always, folks, bye for now.